guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be sharing you about the tsi set counseling eligibility criteria uh, fees structure uh, what is the counseling fees what is the documents you required and everything we're going to discuss in detail right so uh, here in this we will be going to see uh, i tsi set counseling eligibility criteria first then we'll be going to see about the counseling process if you are new on my channel please subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that you can receive all the notification on time okay so let's see about the eligibility criteria so eligibility criteria is uh, the candidates first who will uh, qualified in tsi set uh, will be shortlisted in one list okay then uh, they will uh, give you a list from that list those uh, those candidates can able to apply for uh, counseling so here you can see uh, the minimum score should score by the oc candidate is 50 percent 50 percent uh, score should be scored by the o o oc candidate in i set and 45 person score should be scored by obc candidate or sc st candidates person okay then only they can able to uh, participate in counseling number two here what is given about minority student so minority student uh, those who are not qualified those who are not qualified like uh, they didn't got 50 percent and uh, 45 percent as per the uh, category uh, they are uh, like uh, they will consider for admission in a minority college itself so minority students will get a um, uh, seats in minority college even though uh, they are not qualified okay uh, number two is uh, indian citizens uh, all the Indian citizens can participate in the counseling and uh, uh, the person who belongs to Andhra Pradesh and uh, belongs to the uh, Telangana, they can able to participate in the uh, counseling and the age should be for OC, sh the age should be a uh, 30 years and for BC, SC, ST, the age should be a uh, 34 years on or before July 1, 2022. Okay, now here you need, uh, you everyone know that uh, three years degree is, uh, should be there. So three years degree everyone will have right so there is nothing to uh, say about this so before i uh, i will explain about the counseling steps uh, i'll be telling about the steps involved in counseling okay so we'll be discussing about the steps involved in counseling there are five steps which involved in the counseling are first you can see here first you need to uh, uh, pay the amount for uh, counseling I mean to say you need to register uh, first when you do registration you will be having a verification of documents there you need to verify your documents all the documents i will give you what documents you need to keep in which order you need to keep next third option is web option web option is nothing but choice filling of the colleges so you need to uh, uh, fill the uh, choice uh, uh, fill the colleges uh, of your choice uh, which college is better for you like that so how to choose a college uh, i have given you uh, the link in the description box and i have given uh, i have uh, told a video on that how to select the best colleges based on the cutoff so check out that link in my description box and the fourth is, uh, fourth stage is allotment of seats so seats will get allotted after uh, uh, filling and locking the web options you will uh, you will get allotted with the seat and when you get allotted with the seat fifth step is you need to self report in the college and you need to pay your fees okay you need to pay the amount uh, of seed booking okay so these are the process involved in the counseling now we'll be going to discuss it in a detail how you need to do first step we are going to see how to pay the payment amount okay so first you need to visit on the website official website that is tsche or tsi set website and there you need to uh, click on the payment process tab when you click on the payment process tab they will uh, tell you to fill up some details so what details you need to fill up you need to fill up about the registration number which is given in the hall ticket and you need to fill up your admit uh, admit card number and you need to fill up about the date of birth when you fill up all this detail they will give uh, they will display some another page on the screen that will ask you to fill up your personal details like uh, your mobile number your email uh, email id on which otp will be sent and they will confirm that is it is you or not okay after sending the otp they will uh, give you option of processing fees so you need to pay the amount uh, according to your category for uh, if you or category is oc or a general category right so you need to pay 1200 rupees and if you are belonging to sc or st category 
salary you need to pay 600 rupees sorry guys i forgot to write here about the obc category so i'm saying here obc need to pay 18 uh, 800 rupees okay they uh, their counseling fees is 800 after paying the processing fee you need to download the recept of processing fee and uh, they will give you a list of college from there you can download the list of college and download the recept when you download the list of college uh, from those colleges you need to select out you need to select out the colleges of your best choice based on your rank okay so here for uh, i have wrote the same thing here payment of the how you how the payment is done all the detail i have wrote again now next second step is verification of documents so i'm talking about the verification of documents so uh, i will talk about both like offline process and online process so that you should not get disturbed okay so first i'll talk about the offline process because uh, i am uh, like uh, most probably i'm thinking that uh, this time offline verification will be going to hell uh, because of corona last time in the last year uh, there was online counseling online upload of documents was there so first we'll be discussing about the offline detail but what uh, what documents you need to uh, you need to have with you before hand of the counseling is let's see you need to uh, have a ready set of two copies two xerox copies you need to keep a two xerox copies of whatever documents i am going to say you okay so see first you need to keep your tsi said admit card after that you need to keep tsi said rank card okay you need to have your rank card and the passing degree certificate okay then Aadhaar card keep your original Aadhaar card as well SSC marks memo and degree provisional passing certificate intermediate passing marks sheet and uh, uh, you need to keep uh, degree memorandum marks uh, and degree provisional passing certificate TC TC is mandatory many people ask me is TC is mandatory or not TC is literally very mandatory to get admission into any colleges TC is mandatory okay study bona fide from class 9th to degree and income certificate latest income certificate you need to uh, give the latest income certificate and if you have a caste certificate you need to submit your caste certificate as well caste certificate and uh, a resident certificate resident certificate for seven years if you don't have uh, like uh, if your miseva uh, people are not making of seven years they said if they are not uh, they can't make seven years so tell them to make at least for four years okay tell them to make four years uh, then uh, you need to if a non-local candidate is there they they also need to submit the resident certificate as well in unreserved uh, seats they can get a seat right now next uh, another uh, like a uh, documents uh, required is uh, those who are a cap candidate they can be uh, zilla senate welfare officer will issue some certificate after verification so keep that certificate with you if you are physically handicapped then you should be uh, like uh, from the district medical board you should be issued a certificate uh, by seeing your uh, disability whether it is 40 percent disability above or it is equal to 40 percent so keep that certificate with you for minority certificate i have made a, spe uh, a special video another video Video. so you need uh, check out that video and uh, how to download that uh, uh, like a minority uh, certificate and how to fill up that details how to uh, take the signature and stamp from the college everything I have given in my uh, uh, video so check out that video in the description box next if you have an Anglo Indian uh, keep that document with or uh, keep uh, along with you NCC and sports if you have certificate uh, keep that certificate as well now here what i have wrote the process the whole process i wrote about the here the whole process i wrote about the offline process okay this is the offline process uh, which i have wrote here so first they will give you helpline center after registration uh, they will give you uh, after two or three days uh, they will give you a dates okay they will give you a dates like a uh, one two three like the serial numbers and they will write a date here date and like in a column they will write date and the center name they will write here and they will write here a ranks okay from one to uh, eight thousand rank will be having at the center okay this center name like that uh, suppose i am going to write here like ou center and uh, this date is uh, like uh, they will give you date as the uh, 28th october or uh, no 28th september sorry september ou center and your rank will be 8000 to uh, 15000 rank people so they will give timing as well uh, from 5 uh, like from 2:30 to 5 o'clock they are going to see 
uh, those rank people so you need to reach out the center on uh, like before one hour so that you can able to uh, keep your documents in a manner way how they are saying okay so first when you reach these centers they will announce the registration for counseling right then after uh, like they announcing you need to submit the entrance uh, at the entrance you need to submit your rank card when you submit your rank card they will uh, give you a uh, fill, filling form of registration then you need to fill up the form and they will call you uh, like uh, they will call your rank when they will call your rank you need to go for biometric verification when you verify your uh, biometric verification they will uh, uh, like uh, see your aadhaar card and they will update their like update your mobile number in that and uh, they will uh, enter the details from your aadhaar card and they will give you a receipt when they will give you a receipt uh, you need to uh, enter your like a uh, admit card and rank of registration and uh, you need to provide the documents to the computer man okay they will be sitting one man or a woman on the computer and they will uh, check out your documents and on that barcode will be there right on income certificate like this uh, black color uh, on the right side top right side so they will scan those all the things all documents and after scanning the documents uh, they will uh, say uh, that uh, like a computer operator man says that uh, you will get a message or like your documents get verified after that you can able to do your web option so after uh, after uh, taking uh, collecting a one receipt from them uh, they will give you one receipt collect that one receipt and come out from the center when you come out from the center uh, after uh, my uh, after three to four hours you will get a message that you are eligible for option entry for the courses so and so courses like if you are uh, like a mba or mca courses okay so now you need to uh, after document verification now you are eligible for the next step now you need to choose the colleges which you wish to apply okay according to your according to your rank okay so candidate must visit the uh, like colleges website they should visit and should see the job prospectives everything course duration everything and the procedure of the counseling uh, process they should know everything now what they need to do is they need to register they need to enter their registration number whatever registration number is there and they need to generate a password for the for the choice filling this web option you need to generate the password when you generate the password they will ask some details after that uh, yeah, this details they will ask while generating the password i set hall ticket number roc number uh, and uh, rank number date of birth they will ask this details you need to fill up this detail after fill up in this detail uh, just you need to log out the details then re logging to the exercise option then you need to click uh, uh, click your like uh, enter your hall ticket number login id when you click on uh, when you do this all things when you fill up the passport you, when you fill up the date of birth you will be display with the colleges and uh, they will give some color color colleges like display where the minority अलग color करेगा girls college अलग name से होगा colleges name देंगे so from there you need to select the college name for example this is the box here uh, they will give serial number वन टू थ्री and they will give a colleges name here and you need to click on uh, the uh, college and here they will give you an add another Uh, box like this so here you need to add the first option over here when you add the colleges they will get added and after getting added you need to Uh, save the option when you save the option after that you need to log out from that website after you log out that now uh, uh, they will uh, give some time for web option like uh, in 5 days you need to fill up your web option and you can edit the web option as well after 5 days of web option uh, they will take some time like uh, around 1 week they will take 1 week after 1 week they will uh, release the results of allotment seats they will uh, release the allotment seats uh, like as per reservation criteria like merit uh, category local area reservation area and you need to download the uh, allotment order uh, when Uh, you will get a message when you will get message on your mobile number you need to download the allotment order by entering your login credentials now after that you need to pay the tuition fee by reporting to the college uh, like uh, uh, like uh, you have accepted your joining letter accept the joining letter and you need to uh, book your seat after booking your seat you know that how to do these are the uh, uh, processing of participating in subsequent round like second round third round so this is the whole process hope you understand the process uh, for online process nothing is there you just need to uh, 
for online process you just need to upload the documents in some kb size so they will give you uh, in this kb size you need to be upload your video uh, like sorry photo and in mb size you need to 5 mb size you need to upload your uh, documents okay so the, they will give some size so i will uh, say you when counseling will uh, announce okay counseling dates will announce i will uh, tell you all the details hope this video is helpful and if you are new on my channel please subscribe my channel thanks for watching